A short day today because it was a Saturday. We probably really could have skipped today. We only had um, a handful of bills on second reading and no third reading. Um, one of the bills was contentious. It was a Fish, Wildlife, and Parks bill, House Bill 440, and it did pass. It's got a I think a $1.2 million price tag per year. Um, and what it does is it dedicates hunting license fees um, for easements to land. So right now the law says that the hunting license money needs to go to procure wildlife habitat. And this would have almost cut that in half so that part of it would go to procuring wildlife habitat and a good chunk of it would go towards easements on property. So it's in my mind and a lot of other people's mind, especially a sportsman, um, is another payoff to landowners for letting you cross their property to get to public lands. Um, and there's got to be a better way to do it. In fact, we've passed bills already this session that um, achieved these things in better ways. And we haven't, we've failed bills that would have achieved this in better ways. Uh, we had some great pages this week, two from Butte High, Kendall Alley and Logan Schulke. And they did a great job and it was really fun getting to spend some time with them. Um, since we're kind of down to the nitty gritty, our big priorities are making sure everyone in Montana has health care making sure that our state employees get a pay raise that they have been denied for the past many, many years, and um, making sure that we fix our pension plans. And so the pension plans are fixable. Um, it's just a matter of tweaking a little bit here and a little bit there to make them amortize in a reasonable amount of time. Good thing about a uh, pension plan is it really doesn't take a very big tweak to make it work. And so we're, the big conversations going on last week and this next week will be about how to fix that pension plan, um, how much money we're going to give our state employees. I think there's definitely a general feeling that they're going to get something. I, I don't have it on right now because I've already changed clothes, but you've seen me wear my five and five button every day. And, um, once you've gone without a raise, there's no way to ever get back the earnings that you've lost. So, you know, the state employees are asking for really something that's doable and pretty minimal considering how they have been mistreated and abused for the last at least five years. Um, so that's the big kind of the big top three um we ha there's a general feeling that education funding is going to kind of work itself out so the fourth one to add to that would be making sure that we provide a free and good public education to every montana student so um just some thoughts to end with there's definitely different ideas about how to go about those four things that i just talked about or even whether or not they're necessary um, it's really pretty scary to think that montanans have elected folks to represent them that don't think that that paying employees educating children um, providing providing pension plans for our state employees are even things that Montana should be spending its money on and would rather see it go back to out-of-state businesses. Um, but we're up here to make to keep that from happening and to make sure that our money and your money goes to, in the right hands, which is ours, yours. So thanks very much. Have a great weekend.